17 people shot right here. That final incident around 11 o'clock, you can see there's still ricochet marks on this column here. There's about six in total. Uh, the fire department responding here as well as Freighter Hospital. We talked to them today about how they prioritized victims based on the severity of their wounds. Gunfire rattled the Water Street Entertainment District Friday night, sending people running in a panic. 21 people shot in three incidents following the Bucks game. The most seriously injured were rushed to Freighter Hospital, which treated 10 victims. The injuries ranged uh, basically from gunshot wounds to the chest, gunshot wounds to the abdomen, gunshot wounds to the extremities. Um, and there was a, a spectrum of, um, you know, severity. Freighter's trauma chief says some were treated and released, others admitted for surgeries, but all survived as they prioritized patients based on the extent of their injuries. He says they train for mass casualty events like this, but it's becoming more difficult as they become more common. We support each other uh, through this process because it can be very emotionally draining. I think what's most trying, quite frankly, is the fact that not enough is being done to prevent this from happening, period. At the scene, EMTs and paramedics sent the rest of the victims to other nearby hospitals. The Milwaukee Fire Department's assistant chief says all the while, they have to keep their own safety in mind. We try to work very close with our partners with the police department um, to evaluate if the scene that we're going into um, is safe, um, as safe as can be. And now, Nick, you mentioned that Freighter Hospital treated 10 of the victims, but they said that wasn't even half of their total for the weekend? Right. They said they had 25 gunshot victims over the weekend that they treated at Freighter Hospital. And the doctor there says they've seen a huge explosion in the numbers of non-fatal gunshot wounds, up 110 percent over the last two years. It takes a toll on those first responders as well. Nick Bohr reports.